I feel like the problem with ego comes from stats and we are all the ones at fault who always push um, stats are the biggest factor to a player's performance, not leadership, conversational skills, and teamwork. Bro, okay, stats is a double-edged sword. Like on that note, stats is a double-edged sword where yes, you need an observable, measurable number thing that we can rank order players or what's good and what's bad. But absolutely, Pierce, what you're saying, leadership, how, how do you objectify leadership, you know, or, or how do you objectify a leader that will lead this type of team? You know, conversational skills, absolutely, like that's important. Teamwork's important, but the hard part to, 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 to um, quantify are those things. But yes, those, the things that cannot be quantified, in my opinion, are the most important things because you can, you, we've seen it time and time again, haven't we? Like from the Lakers who had like Meta World Peace, Kobe Bryant, um, Steve Nash, uh, Dwight Howard, and one more person that I'm forgetting. Like they were amazing five individual players that could do crazy numbers of stats. They were absolute garbo together. You'll see this with teams. They have a star-studded roster of these God-given mechanical players that have crazy stats, but their egos or ways of seeing the game or personalities just clash and they're unable to do the things that they need to do to play the game. Why? Because these things that you can't measure, they didn't consider and now it's just a tug of shit. That's really sad to watch. You know what I mean? Like this happens all the time. So yes, I do think you're on the right path, Pierce. So how do we quantify these unquantifiable qualities that often win games?